It's so wild. Like, I wrote a book. She could hardly contain her excitement. I wrote a book. I wrote a book. In the middle of the night, as Chesley was in Israel for the Miss Universe pageant. Here we go, show starts here. She recorded this video to memorialize one of the biggest moments in her life. There are words on this page. My words that I wrote, my thoughts and like what happened and my account of important events in my life. She wrote about it all, an MBA, a law degree, the Miss USA crown, and her dream job right here on Extra. Who says no to Oprah? <laughs> I'm so surprised. <laughs> you a savage. Thank you. And for our friend and colleague, seeing her own words in print was another dream come true. I think I've reread the whole thing tonight. But it's just so wild, it's December 10th. Only 51 days later, she took her own life. I think the whole book is supposed to be 40,000 words. So I don't know if this is gonna last, but even, even whatever doesn't. I'm real proud. Now her mother, who was with her on that trip, is fulfilling Chesley's mission. She left me her final wishes in the text message that she sent to me the morning that she passed, that I see to it that her book get published. April Simpkins with us as we reveal the cover. By the time you read this, the space between Chesley's smile and mental illness, her story in her own words. These are her own words that are in this book. And that is why we use that phrase in her own words. Chesley, for most people who saw her on TV or saw her at events, she was smiling and she was bubbly and she was happy and that was her true self. I've got great aim, man. But there was still a lot of pain that she felt. And I do feel like the book stands right between that place of what people saw in her smile and her private battle with depression. And that is why we use that phrase, um, the space between her smile and mental illness. During her life, Chesley was out there helping others as an advocate. Hey y'all, I do a lot to make sure that I maintain my mental health. Now April hopes that her daughter's words in these pages will continue to have an impact. We don't know what's going on in the lives of many people, but what we can extend is kindness, a listening ear, and a safe space. And I hope that when people read this book, that they promise themselves to seek help when they need it, that they work to create a safe space so that their friends can share, and that they learn how to really listen. Chesley's book will be released April 23rd, only a few days after what would have been her 33rd birthday. The net proceeds from the book are going to go to the Chesley C. Chris Foundation, which we are establishing to help support other organizations out there in local communities that are doing this work. This means everything to me. Fulfilling her final wishes feels like I get to still be in mommy mode with her, and it has been a work of, of love.